Let's see if the next match will be any better. It's the Trojan Warhorse versus the Eclipse. Or, in other words, Victor versus Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong? Versus Victor? This doesn't look like it'll be a fair match at all. <laughs> Yeah, it does not look like it's going to be a fair match. Already, Diddy Kong is getting pummeled by all Victor's projectile attacks. Meanwhile, all Diddy Kong can do is throw bananas. Victor is actually hitting him. Unlike Diddy Kong. Okay, Diddy Kong is looking... Not so great. But his players seem to recovered pretty well. Diddy Kong is actually getting some comeback on him. But Victor did not like that. The thing about this is, Victor has many projectile attacks. Meanwhile, Diddy Kong has two. So... Victor can literally just win if he just throws projectiles. But since he CPUs, anything can happen. Right? Even though we're... I mean, I don't know why I said right, but like... All right, right now they're already well and he's dead. Sorry, I'm seeing you losing track of thought, which is what you do when you're an announcer doing live commentary on Smash the Battle. Anyway, throwing axes seems to be doing pretty well for Victor, and already he seems to. Be knocking Doc Dihong off, even though he's 100.6%. Dihong seems to be holding his own, though, despite the clear disadvantage he has. No, Diddy Kong. Oh, and it was a recovery from that far away. Diddy Kong just wants him off the stage now. Throwing bananas and shooting his projectiles. Making pretty good use of his projectile weapons. And he knocked uh, not Richard, 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 Richter straight up. Richter does not like that though. That seems like they're in, now in a fierce battle. Despite the clear uh, skill gap between the two of them. Despite the fact that, that Richter is uh, not going to be tough, he's not going to be easy to take down. Dagong is holding his own and has got them down to the same amount of stock. Dagong is getting off around now, but he uh, perfectly dodges and he perfectly shields and retaliates. Don't look, doesn't look like it'll be enough though, as he has 153%, and he's a... Oh, but will he be able to cover? No, he won't! He's already at one stack! Diddy Kong might be able to win this. Or not. The same... Same percentage. Diddy Kong goes flying off the edge. But it covers again. Anything can happen here, folks. It's... It's a close game. It's a... Okay, there we go. Just, like, I don't know why they were just like running around. Oh, well, probably because of CPUs. Anyway. There's a high percentage here. Doesn't mean he'll be going down easy though. D Kong is also... But D Kong is holding his own. And he might actually beat Victor in this match. Despite me talking shit about him for the entire match. Victor is throwing his projectiles and they were at 20%. No, 3%. With one hit, three, a 3% three uh, catching up to the gap. 3% gap. And back to the 3% gap. And 16%. Uh, only 16%. 16% between the two of them. But it, but Diddy Kong seeks to close that gap. But, oh, and it's Victor wins! He seems like he won after all.
That was a close game. Close game indeed. Now on to our next match. Alright, the second to last match of this video will be between Star Falcon and Ship with the Kids. A.K.A. Ike versus Samus. This seems to be an even match. Projectile user versus the Swordman. Both are medium. I, I believe both are medium. Uh, a medium weight class. But it's it's but my favorite going to be a close match, despite the fact that Samus is currently getting a butt kicked by a very, very difficult to beat swordsman. Roy will probably be a little worse. Nah, that match up for her. But she's already getting defeated. The reason why a boy would be an even worse match up for her is because while slow, he has the strongest attack out of all the swordsmen. If you look on the left, you can see some Super Mario stuff on the television before it turned off. Oh, and there it is. Dogs with Mario hats. Pixelated Mario. Just in case you're getting tired of watching the video. And already she's off the stage with only 55% to Ike. Will Samus take his first stock or will Ike claim another? All up to fate. It's all up to random chance. And who gets what? Let's fight between the two. No one knows for sure who will be the winner. But oh, and Thomas is taking another stock while I was talking. I think, and she's at 55 as well. But Ike seems to want to recreate what she did to him by launching her off the stage as well. And she's already off! And he's only at 20%. Never mind what I said about a fair fight, this is clearly not in her favor. But will she win this or will she succumb once more? This is a close match of folks, though not really. Ike seems to be the winner in this case, but who knows? Samus might become... might take this. Oh, one wrong move is all she needs to claim victory. Or maybe. It doesn't appear so. She's already dead! She's already dead! Ike has won this! The swordsman has claimed victory over the projectile fighter. And now, let's move on to our final match of the night. Or day, or whatever, where, whatever it is, depending on when you're watching this. And now for the final match of the night. Delanox Unlimited vs. Warframe, a.k.a. Mario vs. Ganondorf. This seems to be an exciting matchup. Ganondorf, uh, the, prince, the Lord of Evil vs. Mario, the hero of the Mushroom Kingdom. Now already, they're off to fight each other in an even match. Ganondorf is a stronger one with a higher weight class, but Mario is... Well, he's Mario. For Mario to come from behind and do this, or Ganondorf succeed? Does not look like it's going to be succeeding. And this Mario pulls off. But will Mario do this, or will he lose? Well, he already lost his stuff. He ended up with a 55%. He 
can already get any button to hand to him now. Mario might pull us off. If only that if only he had used his recovery, that might have worked. Oh, his art is already taken two of the stocks. It does not look like Mars is going to be able to come back from this. But who knows? Me, I know. Like Mars is not going to win. Not even I don't know because it's a live commentary. What's up in the air? And will Mario even be able to take a stock? No, no, no. Well, not that time anyway, but maybe now? He's at 112%. There's no way he's gonna be winning this. It does not look like Mario is going to be in this. And he loses! Dandroff is the winner! As it turns out, that wasn't actually the last match. It was, I just did not read the rest of the contenders, which, my mistake. Anyway, right now, it's SS Orion versus the Void Pearl, aka Donkey Kong versus Banjo and Kazooie. This is an interesting match, folks, considering it's a buff versus a bear. In the bird. I need game. Despite the fact one's an ape and one's a bear, they're kinda similar. Yeah, despite the notes. Seems like the banter is doing this pretty well. And... It seems like he held on to the grenade too long. With Donkey Kong and his gang of buckets. Seems like someone is 64. Uh. And that's to death. It seems like someone's uh, 64 problems is better than the others. This is Banjo. And that's it. Then Banjo dies. Donkey Kong. Recovers, banjo recovers, and then invincible he charges. Takion is not letting up either. Despite the weight difference, there it's an even match. Takion is at 69. Launch in the air, but it comes back down. Eight eggs, but it doesn't land. Well, that one landed. Banjo's coming. Another one's talking about. Mario Kong smacks him and throws him off the side. If Banjo manages to kill Mario Kong now, they'll have to put another demon punch. He's already taking damage. I don't think so. It seems like Donkey Kong may have the upper hand. Don't do have to kill him all if he's got to take his chance. Is he willing or will he survive the fate? As I understand, Banjo has no chance of winning. I'm not saying he's defeated by Donkey Kong. And he's 74%. So 
Palestinian folks all the time. Angels in the back room, let's see what we can do. Those are off. The Don Kong covers. One smash attack gets inside this. Two for the Angels. But in and off side. It's a very one second, but Don Kong killed those of my hits him up in the air. Here's a side of books. Don Kong wins. Now on to the next one. Now for our next fight, ladies and gentlemen, it is the Vandal's Blade versus the SS Tenuous. Also known as Falco and Captain Falcon. Now the funny thing about this is that they're both Falco. They're both like Falcon. Type, so. Already, Captain Falcon is starting out strong, not giving Falco any chance for recovery. Falco is desperately trying to attack, but it's to no avail. And Falcon is just tossing him around at this point. It's Got a couple shots in, but Captain Falcon is not relenting. Falco seems to be in trouble here. And not Captain Falcon knocks him off. He tries recovering and succeeds, but just gets kicked off again. Captain Falcon is Captain Falcon seems to have almost fell off the stage then, but Falco accidentally saved him and trying to recover himself. Falco seems to be taking the lead, and trying to take the lead back, and seems to be succeeding in that. The gun Falcon charges him, and he's getting charged himself. Captain Falcon gets knocked off the stage, but recovers. Falco shoots it and dodges the, the flaming kick. He gets bashed him by the shoulder attack. And he gets knocked out by, K by Captain Falcon. Falco launches him up in the air. When and Captain Falcon just uh, drop kicks him on the way like that. He it seems to be trying to. He gets well, he gets knocked off. And when trying to recover, he gets knocked up in the air by Falco. He, uh, he falls up with an air attack. Falco is knock, knocking him up in the air and knocks him off the stage. Well, uh, up off the stage. And Falco gets his gang attacked once more by Falco. He tries attacking him and misses, but Falco does not miss. He is it you? He gets knocked off the stage but recovers. He's trying to make sure Falco does not recover, and he does not! He seems bad for Captain Falcon here, who had such a strong start earlier. He blocks an attack, tries to send him back off the stage. He's not looking for Captain Falcon's looks. Comes back and recovers. For how long? Captain Falcon knocks off. But Falco, Falco easily recovers, but gets knocked off, got knocked up off the stage. It's now 1v1 with Captain Falcon having a 69%. Falco seems to be insistent on not taking any damage. Falco gets back recovers as well as Falco. And now we have one fat smash attack to Falco, we both could decide this. Will Falcon be able to? Oh, will he be able to kill Falco, or will Falco land that one punch? And then Falcon throws him off. He recovers. He almost knocks him off straight off stage, straight down. But Falco manages to recover. It's it's a close game here, folks. But Falco Falcon has. 100% more than Falco. Fire! 
think Falcon might be able to win this with one with one well placed smash attack. One smash attack is all that will decide this play this round. He blocks, he blocks what could have been fatal. Oh! And Falcon wins! Falcon wins! Straight! A meteor smash straight down! That was amazing! He went from almost from about to lose to a coming behind victory. This is what this is the exciting thing about here about this, ladies and gentlemen. You can't tell who's who will win. Now on to our next match. The actual final match of the round is the SS Falcon versus October's Fall, aka ROB versus King K Rule. Final match of the round, ladies and gentlemen. After this, all the winners will be moving up to the next bracket. ROB seems to be starting off strong. Well, or King K Rule is. King K they seem to be evenly matched. Despite one being a crocodile and the other one being a robot. Although will ROB be able to win this? I don't. Depends on if he makes smart moves, which he does not appear to be doing. He's already off the stage. And he gets knocked off the stage! Yeah, never mind about them being in the match. King K. Rule is clearly owning this robot. Though so will he continue to do it, or will he there will be a major upset? shoot their projectiles, but only King K. Rolls is landing. ROB needs to aim a bit more if he's going to land one of those beams on King K. Rolls. Oh, and he did! He actually did! King K. Rule is then does his down smash, and he covers the crown, and tries sucking him off with but fails. King K. Rolls gets launched off, and recovers with ease. King K. Like, they're both over 100%. One smash attack will decide who loses their next stock. Cannonball hits. King K. Rolls desperately trying to do another air attack and launches him off with the, his sucking power. And done! Uh, it wins that stock. By the suck. King K. Rool seems to be the shoe in for this fight. And Har and Harvey gets is getting trampled upon. It's possible that he'll lose all three stocks without even taking King K one of King K. Rules. It seems to be like that. And it was like that! King K. Rool wins by a landslide! All three stocks! King K. Rool wins. wins the battle! Thanks for joining us for the first round of the turn of the uh, ship name tourney. Join us next time where in round during round two. Hey, thanks for watching. This is April Luma signing off.